final and Bill, it doesn't look as though we've got many cars survived. No, we haven't. And uh, the man who caused the race to be stopped, 52, Michael Shield, is not out in this one. His back uh, axle was very badly damaged when it was hit by Trevor Hopkins. It was uh, really unavoidable. In conditions like you see at the moment, this is exactly where Shields went off, but no problems for the car this time. And it's Mark Renison, the current championship leader and the reigning title holder, who's out there in the lead with John Welsh right behind him, then Dimmy, and then Barry Hathaway. We've only got four cars in this A final. Let's just see what... Oh! And look at the way that John kept that car together. He shot through using part of the circuit, part of the infield, and he was through. And I think he's filled in Renison's screen because Renison started going backwards instead of forwards there for a minute. That was the most incredible overtaking manoeuvre I've seen for a long, long time. There was no way John Welsh could get that car through there. Well, there's, let's put it this way. There was no way that John Welsh was going to not try getting that car through there. And now look at the state of Mark Renison's car. He collected an awful lot of money. This was a white car before we started the meeting. Yes, I'm sure Mark had quite a shock when he saw that blue blur flying past him. I think it would have been more of a shock when all of a sudden he had a brown blur on the screen. <laughs> anyway, back to the racing. And Dimim of Robbins now is uh, closing on Mark Renison. But Renison's been caught out once and he's now got a clear screen. And I don't think that he will... Uh, in any way let Dimmy pass him. I think that uh, Mark, oh, putting the power on too soon there. He's having to work very, very hard, very hard indeed to stay out there in front. Dimmy, of course, taking a, a very nice line through there, despite the conditions, manages to hold on. I was about to say that I don't think that Mark Renison was going to try to catch John Welsh now. It did look like that. I'm not sure whether it's because he can't see or what, but he's certainly taking things very, very gingerly. And that's not really like Mark. No, quite right. And Dimmy now is catching Mark. Mark is having all sorts of problems. Dimmy streaks past. Now, I don't know where Dimmy found the grip from. I know it's a four-wheel drive car, but suddenly he went past there as if Mark was on the uh, on the loose and Dimmy was on tarmac. Yes, it's OK saying these supercars have got all the advantages, but you've seen already the problems that the smaller engine cars have had, even given the fact that we've got four-wheel drive. Just imagine the problems these drivers had with the amount of horsepower. Well, Mark's car is definitely steamed up on the inside now, so maybe he has got visibility problems and contrast. Uh, John Welsh has got an extremely clear screen, and let's see how much of a lead he's got over Dimmy, waiting for Dimmy Mavropoulos and the Quattro to come into view. There he is, Dimmy. Some way back, he too appears to have a clear screen where the wiper is working. Now, look at uh, Mark Renison. Even though the wiper is going, yes, definitely, the inside of the screen is misted up. There's a little tiny hole in the screen where Mark has wiped away the mist and so i'm not surprised that mark is having problems so they go through completing another lap john welsh well on his way there are the brake lights from dimmy's quattro mark rennison going over the finish line there is the man in the lead his car relatively clean he hasn't had to follow anybody for too long and of course it's clean both on the outside and on the inside now this is where, where john made that spectacular overtaking maneuver and look at the car control as he throws the car into the top corner, but uh, that's a bit risky manoeuvre. He's not really got anything to prove now, has he? No, this is true. He's nothing to prove now. It's just a matter of holding it all together. No more mistakes. Just hold it together to receive the ticket flag. Well, lest we forget, Barry Hathaway is still out there. He's down in fourth spot. This is the man that's currently in the lead. And, of course, this Formula A A final is all about points. And I think that John Welsh, he was only two points behind Mark Renison when they started the competition today. And I think that if the order stays like this, then John Welsh will have taken that lead back from Mark Rennison. That, of course, is what John would dearly love to do. It's his first season with this Vauxhall Opel four-wheel drive. It's the X-Track system. He's got some 600-plus brake horsepower from the Opel Manta engine, and it looks like he's about to come up and lap Barry Hathaway. Oh, and that was very sporting of Barry. Moves out of the way. And uh, as Barry Hathaway goes round, regains the track again. John Welsh on his way. The chequered flag is out and waiting. I believe the rain is still coming down. It looks quite clear on your screens, but the rain is still coming down. Where is the chequered flag? There it is, John Welsh. A very good win. Some terrific driving in that opening lap by the Vauxhall Opal driver. Where is the second place man? There he is, right at the back of the field. You just saw him momentarily. So John wins by almost half a lap. Dimmy coming through. Now, there is Dimi Mavropoulos, takes the chequered flag for second place. 
in third. We wait for Mark Renison. And John there spinning the car around, just showing what he can do. And just look at the way those tyres clear the rain off the track. It's just a shame that it doesn't do that <laughs> whilst they're racing.